Hi and welcome. So today I want to present you the first uh, CCTV camera surveillance uh, zoom lens. So this one is from uh, Cosmicar, Cosmicar TV zoom lens, and it's starting from 12.5 focal length uh, to 75 um, millimeter focal length for a zoom lens. It's quite a small one. So that's already a plus. And let me just focus it a little bit closer. Right like this. So you can see it yourself. The, the zoom lens. Right. Quite nice. I mean, well built. That's for sure. I mean, it's only metal, nothing plasticky on it. This is the front element, quite clean. And this is the back. Now the glass here, it's quite small. So I think I will have vignetting at 12.5. Rings are just moving smoothly without any problems and yeah, I just like the idea that is this compact. So I will test it out. We will test it out starting from 12.5. Which presets are the best fit for this zoom lens? And um, like we will see here inside the, the zoom testing and the sharpness of the lens. And then I will take it outside and I will uh, do some cool, proper and nice, you know, shots outside. So let me just uh, put it where is, this is the adapter. So EFM, EOSM mount and C mount in the middle. So let me just change uh, because right now I'm on the Mollinx 12.5 uh, millimeter at um, 1.3 uh, aperture. And now I will go, we will go with this one starting from 12.5 millimeters. We are on the Cosmicar uh, TV zoom lens with the focal length starting from 12.5 millimeter to 75 millimeter at the maximum aperture 1.8. And uh, the preset is the crop mood one by one uh, at uh, 1440p 14 bits row uh, preset and with an expect uh, ratio of 16 by nine. And I can see or maybe just me, but I can see uh, like a little bit of vignetting here. Seriously, yeah, I can see it here. So 16 by 9, maybe not. Let's try out the um, 3K. So I zoomed in, in at 20 millimeters, but I see the vignetting is, become, is becoming more... And that's strange. Let me just check out something. Maybe I have... I didn't read it correctly but no i mean yeah no no the vignetting is uh, is there so i have to change the format so i'm at the format one by one um with a preset 3k at 14 bits row and unfortunately vignetting so 3k it's just not working now i'm on the um, crop mode one by one preset 2.8 k 14 bits row and there's still vignetting at 12.5 uh, um, millimeter focal length let me just try to change the focal length and see if it's working if the um, the vignetting disappears So I'm zoomed at 20 millimeters and unfortunately in the 2.8K 14 bits row, there's still quite a lot of vignetting. You can see it here, 
2.5K is the answer. With the 2.5K in the crop mood one by one, no vignetting at uh, 12.5 millimeters. So that's just working fine. Now let's just uh, change the focal length. So now I am at um, 15 uh, millimeter focal length in the crop mood one by one. A preset 2.5K 14 bits raw and no problem with vignetting. It's just okay. Let's change the focal length. Now I'm the, I'm at uh, 20 millimeters, uh, focal length and there's uh, no problem with uh, vignetting. Um, it's just working fine. I'm in the crop mode one by one focal length, uh, 20 millimeters and uh, 14 bits raw. Let's change again the focal length. So now I am at the 30 uh, millimeter focal length on the Cosmicar uh, TV zoom lens, uh, which is starting from 12.5 until 75 millimeters. I'm at the maximum aperture 1.8. And right now I'm on 30 um, millimeter focal length. Now this lengths are marked on the on the zoom lens but you can multiply so we are around uh, like 50 right now and there's no vignetting so um and i haven't changed uh, my place so that's important also to know to knowledge so let's just change the focal length again so i'm on the same place now but at the 50 millimeters on the Cosmicar TV zoom lens, which is starting the focal length from 12.5 until 75 millimeter. So now I'm at 50 millimeters at the maximum aperture 1.8. Now 50 millimeter because I am at the preset uh, crop mode one by one. You can multiply it the 50. We are at 80. So we can say that we are at 80, 85 millimeter at 1.8. Now let's put at the maximum at 75. If in this distance, uh, if I can, you know, uh, see something, maybe only my eyes, but let's see. So at the same uh, position, but uh, we are at 75 millimeters. So you can see only my eyes or my mouth. And uh, this is awkward, so I will change it. But this is 75 millimeter on um, the Cosmic Art TV zoom lens, starting from 12.5 millimeter to 75 millimeters. And right now we are at 75 millimeters. And, um, so if you multiply, because we are in the crop mode, uh, 2.5 K in 14 bits row, it's like, uh, 100, 105, uh, 105 millimeters. So it's extremely close and I remain at the same distance. Still, uh, on the Cosmicar uh, TV zoom lens with a C mount. Uh, starting from 12.5 millimeters until uh, 75 millimeters, maximum aperture 1.8. And right now I'm, uh, at the 12.5 millimeters at the maximum aperture 1.8. It's not that far. I can see myself in the monitor and I can, you know, almost touch it, uh, arm length and, uh, the crop mode is one by one, preset 2.5K, 14 bits raw. And with this preset, this zoom lens is usable. Now I showed you all the focal length differences being at the same position as I am right now, starting from 12.5 until 75 millimeter, which was awkward because I could see only my eyes. You could see only my eyes or my mouth. Uh, and um, yes, yeah, so because when I am telling you right now, I'm at 12.5 millimeters in this crop mode, 2.5K, we are around 25, 30, maybe 35. So 75, it's like a hundred, 105 millimeter 
uh, focal length. So evidently it's, it's a big one. Now what I will do, I will take it outside. From experience, I already know, starting from 30 millimeters, um, it has to be, the shot has to be sta stabilized. So handheld, it's just not workable. So probably I will uh, take a tripod or a gimbal. I think a tripod will be much easier than uh, than with a gimbal, but maybe I will take the gimbal, so that depends. And um, I will try uh, just pure and simple without any filter, and maybe I will put an any filter also. So next sequences were all filmed with uh, the Cosmicar TV zoom lens. With a, starting from a focal length 12.5 with 75 and and so on and so forth. Have a nice watch.
I just uh, finished the recordings outside with the Cosmicar TV zoom lens uh, from 12.5 mm uh, until 75 mm focal length. And uh, overall, I am I'm nicely surprised. I used the tripod um, to record the sequences that uh, you have seen. And um, yeah, it's... It's working fine. I'm not that impressed and I don't like necessary uh, zoom lenses, but they are convenient. As you could see on the shootings, you have, uh, you know, options. So you stay in the same place and then you can choose, you can try out which focal length is working with your sequence, video sequence that you want to, to make, um, how do you frame the shot so it's much easier as if you have a prime lens then you have to move around the subject or close or far uh, far away from the subject but with the zooming lens i mean you stay in the same position and you are just zooming in zooming out zooming in zooming out until you find the nice place now one thing that i have a remark unfortunately those adapter rings are not working always with every CCTV lens. So many times to be able, uh, you know, to focus on the subject or on what I wanted, I just had to unscrew it from the, um, uh, from the adapter directly because the distance was too close or too far away. That depends. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's why I think without realizing what I have done, the modification with the other uh, CCTV lenses was the best. The idea that moving far away the front element, because then I could have this, the back end fixed. But here I saw with this zoom lens that many times I just had to move the back end a little bit far uh, from the sensor or then back again. So, it's not that practical, but it's usable. You know, this is the, the, the disadvantage if you want. If you are starting with, uh, with cheap lenses, you have to accommodate, you have to change, but it's, it's workable. That's the most important thing. So I hope you have enjoyed. And uh, if you are not subscribed to the channel, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the videos that I'm making, do not forget to um, hit the thumbs up button because this way uh, it will be recommended and many others who are using or want to use the, the Canon EOS M in the, with the magic lanterns can see other options, other possibilities with it. See you next time.